Introducing Ahoy Carpool. Whether you're in the riding mood or driving mood, Ahoy Carpool enables you to do both. Book your carpool ride in advance. Download now and experience Ahoy Carpool today. Welcome to Pilipu on channel. Robotics is a growing field nowadays and then there's been abundant research going on in this area. Also, there have been so many competitions conducted across the world and then imagine participating in one of these competitions like World Robotics Olympiad. We have a team which did exactly that in our studio today and we are very proud of you to meet. Before we meet this team, let's meet the mentor and the coach of the team. Joya and Hari, welcome to Kirtu. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Thank you. I appreciate uh, your valuable time giving this as an opportunity to invite to your studios. So what is this WRO? So WRO stands for World Robot Olympia. This is an international event competition. Uh, so USA has uh, been doing these competitions for many years. How did you come to know about this competition then? What actually brought you guys to prepare for this competition? That's a good question. Uh, myself and my, my wife Zoya, we both have been mentoring robotics teams for many years. Uh, our team uh, has done first Lego League, first technology challenge and this year they did WRO. Who actually introduced you to this WRO? These kids, as I was saying that they were doing multiple competitions while they were young. And initially uh, they were doing something instructive based right? and where you build a certain thing and go for a competition. Mm -hmm. So that's been multiple phases of different levels of competition. When they are comfortable at that, this is a competition where you build from the scratch and work. So it's a scalable competition that they did when they were young. And now that they are in a, have a better grip of how things work, this is a competition where they have to be creative to build a structure right there and imply a code on it and make it work. So did you go through a series of competitions locally first before you get into WRO to represent the US? Exactly. So our team, uh, went into the regionals, okay. uh, which happened at Naismith uh, Hornum, this is, which is the East Coast. Uh, and then they, they, this team got uh, qualified uh, for the nationals, which is happening next week. And when the US national organizer, Mr. Will, he saw these kids' robots, which played at the WRO football, uh, he was so impressed. He said, this team should be invited for the international event. Okay. So that he strongly recommended this team. Mm -hmm. So then what is involved to actually prepare for this competition? So, like uh, uh, Zoya mentioned, right? So, this WRO football is different, unique compared to other robotics events. This team has to build the robots as part of their competition. You said the WRO football. Can you explain what the football is about? Uh, yeah, so WRO has like uh, four different categories. One of the categories is WRO football. Uh, this team is supposed to build two robots and uh, play against uh, another team which also brings two robots onto the field which is a football field and then they play football in US we call soccer right because this is an international game they call it as football okay. and there is a football real ball there in the yeah, field it, it looks like yeah this. so this is the ball okay and then this is a robot that this team has built okay and the team will explain more details about what sure. made them design this robot sure. so this robot all the purpose of this robot is to make goals part of the football game okay so then, since from the beginning itself, you the competition is only about football, like in all the regional competitions, or is it about different building different things? This event has multiple uh, uh, multiple different competitions. Okay. These kids have picked up uh, football, uh, this uh, wing of competition. So it's been this competition all through the while. Yeah, that's a good story though. Uh, the three members that I have in my team, they're all, they, they love football. They, okay. they love soccer. I said they love soccer. That's why when they saw robots doing uh, football, They're initially they said, what is this football? Because they, these guys, US kids, they only know soccer, right? So then when they saw the video of how this played, they got, no, I want to do this. I want to play this. They started building this. We get more details from the sure. team actually of yeah. all those, how they actually prepared for this. Sure. But in terms of coaching and mentoring, right? what is involved and in how did you, you know, spend your time and then how did you, what kind of a mentoring you did? Um, we split our work. I was mostly on the project management side and he is mostly on designing and helping technology. into the technology side. Uh, in terms of the execution of the project, all through the summer they spend more than 16-17 hours a day 
and tie somebody's from, from from your perspective like what is involved to prepare them prepare them the they need to have a design they are all over the place because this is a design where they have to come up with their own idea thoughts there is no structure that this is how it should be okay so they have multiple ideas in their like we want to do this we want to do this so it's always like prioritizing them making them stick to the prioritization and making them ask what paths you need because they are not they are very unique paths so they have to go out sometimes they have to design their paths they have had to go to a level of should be even 3d print kind of planning so you are involved in terms of the timelines and making sure they meet the timelines Me. and then you are involved with the design and what yeah. kind of specification they have to that's true so like uh, you know she mentioned right so it's not just to bring in the kids to the table it's about uh, designing the robot right and then unique uh, if you see the kids will explain about their unique design with uh, the wheels okay. wheels is unique in this robot uh, designing is important uh, writing a program to run the robot is important and then the timing is important three things right so and then before uh, you actually go to this event do you have to show some kind of a prototype to the uh, competition so yes. so regionals they did the regionals uh, they won that they went they qualified for the nationals okay. and then based on the regional performance in the regionals the national organizer uh, recommended this team should go to the internationals the international felta media LLC, which conducted, which organized the international event, they were very impressed with the robots USA. So they said, "Yeah, we are inviting this team to the international." We got invitations, yeah. and then you know, there you go. We went to Philippines and came back. That's very good. It's, it's actually a very good uh, sense of a great achievement you probably achieved, like right? both the team and the as mentor and coach. And okay. so, what's what is next for the team? Uh, what are a, you looking for for in the future? Yeah. That's a good question. So we still have uh, nationals happening next week. Uh, if we win that nationals, uh, this team will go to Thailand okay. for the internationals. That's the uh, internationals 2018. Okay. And uh, also, we were invited. This team is invited to Hungary 2019. Uh, uh, awesome. So this is the uh, invitation, official invitation from Hungary. I'm glad you're preparing for your next events and looking forward for the other competitions for your team specifically. But what about the other kids and then our whole community? Like, what are you trying to do? Uh, would you like to do any offer? Yeah, we have thoughts and I'll let you So that's a very important question you asked me. Yeah, a lot of parents who come talk to me, right? The, most of the kids that I see now lately, they spend a lot of hours on computers, tablets, tablets. Uh, it's good they know the technology, they are better than us, uh, our generation. But also if you see the creativity, cognitive skills, right? Robotics is one domain where kids can use their STEM power, the, the knowledge that study they get from schools, apply that into robotics and in a creative way. So that basically enhances them, makes them good citizens. How would you, how are you planning to help them out? Like, Excellent, so I being a mentor, uh, I, my doors are always open and then uh, you know any kids who are, who wants to go into these competitions, I'm always available. Thank you very much for sharing all this information with us today and thank you for coming to the studio. Thank you, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, appreciate all the time and we really appreciate Pilku for bringing us and giving this exposure and also telling, giving us an opportunity to tell to the kids that out there is a big world, have fun while playing, so go and share it out and appreciate all Pilku channel for this. Yeah, I say that robotics is fun. <laughs> Are you tired of driving and riding alone? Introducing Ahoy Carpool, a new carpooling experience allowing you to make new friends in a safe and secure environment. Whether you're in the riding mood or driving mood, Ahoy Carpool enables you to do both. Make extra money or find cheap rides. Pay in the most convenient ways for you. Book your carpool ride in advance. Choose the person you want to ride with as well as the specific time and date. Ahoy Carpool is easy to download. Download now and experience Ahoy Carpool today. Humility Teams Coach and the Mentor. Right now, let's meet the team itself directly. First of all, welcome and congratulations for your participation representing the United States in WRO competitions. Before we get to the details, uh, please introduce yourself, tell, tell your name, which grade, which school you're studying from and where you are. Okay, my name's Ronan. I'm in ninth grade and I go to South Lakes High School. Yeah, my name is Gilkey. I'm going to seventh grade at Rachel Carson Middle School. 
My name is Prabhat. I'm in ninth grade and I'm going to Westfield High School. Very good. So, how do you feel about this competition and representing the United States? Prabhat, the so, uh, WRO uh, football is a very unique competition. Uh, I think there's one other competition like this in the world, but that's held in Australia. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's, uh, some, nothing, it's something like I've never seen before. So, uh, playing football with robots that are automated is very interesting. And, um, yeah. Do you have anything, anything else to add on to? I mean, WRO football is a really innovative and unique um, like hobby that not many people are into and the more you do it the more knowledge you get and the more creative you are so very good what, nice. what's your experience we were very lucky to meet international teams and make international friends mm -hmm. and learn from their view of solving the problem making robots what actually got you into like preparing for this competition so we all used to be part of like Lego League teams and Tech Challenge teams and our coach asked us to like watch videos on how to do these kind of things and we watched this one video on WRO football mm -hmm. and as he said we were all really into soccer mm -hmm. so when we saw these robots playing soccer which were automated we were really interested in like this competition and that's what first got us started. Do you also play soccer? I play soccer and mm -hmm. letting the play in high school. What is most interesting about this particular project? You go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I found programming most interesting because it has to be versatile and run anywhere. Mm -hmm. And building was interesting too because the robot has to withstand other robots. Mm -hmm. And what kind of challenges did you face while building this? So, um, like our coach just said, we're a rookie team. So this is our first year mm -hmm. in this competition. So um, we had, like like um, so we learned a lot in the Philippines. So um, this design is an evolution of um, our previous designs. So um, one challenge that we faced was um, uh, I guess uh, getting the right design to work. So um, like our other designs um, that we've tested, but didn't take the competition were flimsy and stuff. So we had to work really hard over the summer to. Um, make this design work and get it to run properly. So this is a real time thing, right? It's not like yeah. a pre-programmed, it's on an ad hoc basis based on the opposite team. This robot has to adjust the movements and then play with the other, with the opposite team. Yes, yeah. we can change the strategy. So say the other team is like strong in defense, we can make two, both our robot strikers, mm -hmm. if they're weak in defense, if the other team's strong and striker, you can make both the robots their defense. Very interesting project. Like, how much time did you guys spend on this? Like, over the period of months? The entire summer. Well, we've been doing this for about seven months, I would say, maybe more. Yeah. 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 And then um, no other fun. Like, you yeah. had to get, you had to <laughs> cut your time away from TV yeah. or something else. Like, what? How did you manage the whole um, thing? We'd come home from school and like start this. What did you feel like? Is it a sense of achievement, uh, excitement every time you spend time on this? Did you feel like you were not spending time on something else? Or you were like, hey, I'm, I'm doing something productive. How did you feel? So, um, at least for us, I guess we all have a sense of satisfaction yeah. when we see our robot doing well on the field. Right. So that's a really good feeling. What are, the, what are your other hobbies? Like, what else do you do other than robotics? You, you go first, right? So I play tennis yeah. and basketball okay. and I like to read books. And that helps you think more about how you can improve your projects like in robotics? Uh, at least reading books does. Yeah. Uh, tennis and basketball not so much. Okay. What about you? Um, I really enjoy reading books too. Yeah. Like I will read books whenever I have time. I also enjoy playing basketball okay. with like my friends at school. Um, yeah, it just kind of really calms my mind and I need to think or like new ideas for the robot. Mm -hmm. It's just a way for me to refocus. So since from your childhood you've been just thinking about robotics, I mean, when did you realize that you were interested in robotics? Um, when I was around like nine, I think. Okay. Um, I was, I like knew like some of my friends were involved in this kind of stuff. Yeah. And that's when I realized that I really liked it and thought I should get involved myself. So what about you, Lola? Like what, what are your hobbies and then when did you get interested in robotics? In my free time I usually build model planes and model rockets.
itself. And that's the next level of robotization. Um, not really, because like it integrated both of them. Okay. So I got interested in robotics when I was in like fourth grade. Okay. I always had a passion for it, mm -hmm. but I never found a right teacher. So you were you were really happy that you found this team and you were doing yeah. those. Okay. So I think this is a great achievement. It's a great project. I think I, I wish you a very good luck for your next projects again. But do you have any message for our community and other kids? What 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 would you like to say, Ronnie? Well, I say invent more and consume less. And yeah. you want to elaborate anything on that? Um, well, you should always imagine, invent, and inspire. So, if you want to do something that would make a difference, start with ideas and then try to make that like into the reality. Um, uh, one more message is always follow your passions and um, like do what you want to do in life. So, so it's a uh, it's very nice to see that your math and science that you've been studying is also helpful with your robotic design. And I hope you continue to learn and then improve your design in the near future. Thank you. Thank you, so thank you so much. Again, thank you to Google Studios. This was a great opportunity. And uh, thank you for taking your time to sit with us and interview us. Uh, yeah, it was a wonderful experience today. Thank you for taking time out of your day. The purpose of sharing this program with you guys is to encourage all of you to pursue your passions. If you work really hard and then pursue your passions, you will achieve great success. If you have any success story like this, please bring us to Philippa TV and Channel N and I will share with the whole world. Thank you. Thanks for watching.